Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm at my grandparents' house. Um, my grandma and grandpa are gonna let me use some space in their garden to plant my extra tomatoes and um, like squash type of plants that I have. So I just wanted to get on here and show you what I'm doing and also to give you the idea that if you know anybody who has some extra land that they wouldn't mind letting you garden in, you can just go ahead and ask them. You know, maybe they have some space and they're not going to plant anything in it um, and that's something that you can build your skills doing and have a space to do it. So I'm going to walk you along with me while I'm planting. I have tomato plants, I have zucchini, I have some squash growing. Um, I brought all this from my greenhouse um, to my grandparents. Um, what else do I have? I have um, something else. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get out there um, and um, just go from there. So I'll meet you in the garden. Okay, so my video didn't go quite as planned. My grandparents, they're actually my great grandparents. They're 85 and 90 years old and they came out to the garden that I was supposed to do on my own and they started helping um, dig holes with a post digger for my tomato plants and just being a big help but I went ahead and just helped them as quickly as I can so they can get out of the sun because it's pretty it's a really an, a beautiful day but the sun's very hot and um, so I just wanted you know to put their safety first so um, I will show you the row that I planted um, with the tomato plants I have some jalapeno peppers some some other kind of pepper. Hmm. Oh, they're long, sweet red peppers. So they're sweet like a red bell pepper, but they're long, um, just a long pepper. So I'll go ahead and just walk you um, down the garden row that I have here at my grandparents. They have a beautiful property with some orchards back there that they planted before I was born. And um, I've been able to can and get a lot of harvest from them throughout the years and of course i learned a ton of my skills from my grandma so um uh, hopefully i'll be blessed enough to be able to continue doing that this year so let's go ahead and check out the garden okay so here's all of my this is my row starting right here and just going on up all the way down to the end um that they let me have so these are the tomato plants that I had in my greenhouse that I brought. They're about ready to have some um, cages put around them um, so they can go ahead and grow up that. So all I did was I grew them in like a paper um, decomposable cup and then I just tore the bottom of that cup. My grandpa used a post digger and dug the holes for me. I tore the bottom of that cup, we put some water in the hole, popped the tomato plant in there and covered it with some dirt. I try and mound it up a little bit around the base just to get a little bit of extra support. And I did all of them that way. They, these varieties right here are all a variety called Ox Heart. They're, um, they get really big, juicy tomatoes. Um, this little guy, I have never done this before, but I broke it right at the very end. So there's my tomato plant. So we're gonna see if that will come back. I don't know if it will. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know if it'll come back, but we will, uh, we'll just see. If not, we'll throw another tomato plant there. My grandma, uncles, I have a lot of family. Somebody will have something. And then these right here are called Cherokee purple tomatoes. Um, this one had some damage, so I had to take quite a bit of the top off. So there again, we'll see if that comes up or not. And I have a popsicle stick there that says basil on it. That's definitely not basil, but I wanted to mark that as my turkey purple for while I was transporting it to my grandparents. And this right here, my squash, summer squash. I have yellow summer squash and zucchini right here, both of these um, hills. So I just made mounds and then I typically just put, put three seeds um, straight into the ground. This year, our eight-year-old daughter wanted to start some seeds so I let her go ahead and put those in our starts um, so we'll see how they do um, the squash and zucchini they got mixed together so I'm not sure which is gonna be which but one hill will be zucchini and one hill will be squash so we'll see 
Okay. Now these these little guys, I've never grown them before, but my our daughter she also started these. Um, these are butternut squash. So I did the same thing. I actually have four. There's a little one right here starting to come up. Okay, so I have those um, started. We'll see how they do. I've never planted butternut squash. So if you have and you have any uh, recommendations or tips on growing, I'd appreciate it. All right, and then these little guys are muskmelon. My daughter, she likes gardening like I do. So she saves seeds. These are muskmelon seeds that she saved from the farmer's market last year. Um, so we have two of them come up. So we'll see how those do. And here's the sweet long uh, red peppers. They're starting up a little bit. And then I have some jalapenos planted right here that'll hopefully come up. We'll see how they do. And that is it. That's all I have for my row. Now let's see. Here's some more tomato plants that my grandparents have planted. Over here is their potatoes. So now my grandpa is going to be coming out here soon. And you can see these little guys. He's going to take the hoe or, you know, this is a pretty large garden. So he's probably going to take the tiller and just go through the rows. Um, and, you know, this one's already been done. It's tilled compared to that. It's been rained on. Take the hoe and just pull it up to mound these potatoes a little bit more. You really want your potatoes mounted because your um, potatoes grow in, in the dirt under the mound. So the more mounds, the more dirt, you know, the more space they have to grow. Oh, let's see. What else have they got going on here? All right. Here's... You can really tell when you don't mulch or anything on your garden, it's just dirt. When it rains, man, it just flattens it right out. It gets really hard on top. But it will work. You just gotta... If you have a good tiller... That's gonna save you. Now they've tilled this up. They put all these tomato plants in last night. Can you believe that? My, their son and daughter-in-law, my grandma and grandpa came over and this is all their tomato plants. I think there's 30, 40, probably 40 Roma tomato plants that they wanna use this year to make sauce. So this is slowly just turning into like a family community garden. <laughs> so we all just kinda keep an eye out for each other and um you know all reap the benefits all right so that's it for today if you guys have a garden let me know what you're planting if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i would really love some tips on growing musk melon if you've ever done that or maybe like a cantaloupe would be similar or um, butternut squash i've never grown those either so i'm pretty excited i bought a lot of it in the store so it's time to start growing it so i hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you next time